everybody this morning. I hope you are doing well. Real quick, if you are on and you do not see the chat option, hop out and hop back in. I accidentally had it disabled, so I went in and enabled it. But if you're not seeing the chat, hop out, come back, and it should be there. I went ahead and dropped the link to all of these things in the live chat, and it's down in the description box below as well. I went to Kansas City last week and went shopping with Sammy. We hit up the Goodwill bins for the very first time, and we had so much fun. And then we hit two thrift stores, and I went also to the Giving Tree here in Topeka because I needed boxes, and I had to shop a little. So if y'all are new here, this is how it works. My name is Bree. I'm the owner and artist of Upcycled by Bree, and I love to go thrifting, and lately the garage sale season is upon us as well. So I have my haul in front of me. All these items are already loaded up on my site, upcycledbybree.com. If you see something you love, run over now and go ahead, get it in your cart, and check out. Just putting it in your cart doesn't guarantee that it's yours. Um, and then if you do place multiple orders, if you see a lot of different things you like and get excited, um, I will combine shipping down as much as I can and refund extra shipping costs back to you. So everything is up and live. If y'all wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up for me and sending this over to a friend, I would appreciate it and we'll get started. Becky's here and Sue, also Anne, all my girls, good morning. Kelsey caught me live finally, welcome Kelsey. Okay. Sorry, there was a little bit of panic there with the live chat thing right before I went live. So let me get situated here. Let me get situated. Has garage sale season started for y'all where y'all live? It is upon us here and I'm so excited. Okay, I want to take my camera back just a little bit. Teresa's on live with us too. That's better. Now y'all can really see the junk. Okay, let's start with this in front of me. These were very, very popular when I was giving the sneak peek. I found these in the bins and they were actually in two separate bins. So I thought that I'd put a pair together. And then when I got home and started taking pictures, I realized there was one more up inside. So stinking cute. Anytime I find this starched crochet, I do pick it up. Um, I listed these for $24.95 for the set of three. Now at the Goodwill bins, if you've never been, it's kind of like a pay by the pound thing. It was gorgeous. So large items were $5 each and then the smaller things were pay by the pound. I spent a total of $25. I had two larger items and then a box full of smaller goodies. Oh, I know, Paige. I'm so excited. Thank you, dear. In fact, I was um, editing a video this morning and thought of you. <laughs> oh, Anne's here and Nikki. Good morning. Let's not start off by dropping things. Let's show you these. Okay, these were also in the bins. Um, and I found several pictures there. I was really excited that the glass wasn't broken in them. So I went ahead and grabbed them. Now they're originally from a place called The Linen Tree for $15. And they're done by an artist called Shelly, Shelly Helly, Shelly Healy, H-E-L-Y. Oh my goodness. And they're just so pretty. Beautiful bot botanical prints. Got the teal and the monarch and the yellow. Sorry if I'm blinding you. And butterflies usually sell pretty well for me. It was a set of three, so I went ahead and picked them up. They're listed up at $16.95. I thought the summers were, um, or the butterflies would be a good summer critter. Start looking for lots of butterflies. <laughs> oh, goodness. I've been having a lot of fun putting little groups and trios and vignettes together. Oh, people are shopping. Thank y'all. I found these vases. Um, this one was 99 cents, I think, at the Salvation Army. And I just loved the little weird, like, pear shape of it. And then Alyssa, I think, gave me this one a couple weeks ago. But putting those two colors together, a little bit of dried floral I had in my stash. Just gorgeous. This set of two is $12.95. So definitely a very neutral theme here. Not lots of color this week, but I was digging the aesthetic. Um, so one thing about our Goodwill bins, I will tell you this. 
unfortunately, we got there about 9.30. They opened at 9. And um, there were no carts. All the carts were gone. So what people do at the bins in Kansas City, apparently, is they go in, they get a cart, and they start shopping. And they take their cart and they push it against the wall and they'll get like a sheet or a big coat or something out of the bins and throw it over their cart and like claim it. And then they wait for the bins to switch out and they continue to shop and just load their cart up and they don't leave and they don't check out. <laughs> but we were lucky enough to find a big tote, a big like empty broken tub and we drug that around and filled it with our junk. I don't know. It wasn't the best experience. It was a lot of garbage, honestly, a lot of trash and broken stuff. Um, just not a lot of fun, but that's okay. It was, a, it was worth a shot. These two Magnolia prints also came from the bins. They were a Cedar Creek collection originally. They're very pretty. I do need to clean them up a little bit. They've got some dust stuff on the top from hanging over the years, but Magnolias do very well whether I put them on art or do a transfer. So I'll get these all cleaned up before I ship them out. I was thinking about painting the frames, but I actually like the frames with the pictures. They've got a bit of a gold matting on the inside as well. And I haven't been buying art for like the entire, like I haven't bought art a lot until lately. And it's been selling. Y'all have been buying it and it's been shipping out just fine. So I'm going to continue to buy it. And you know what? I might even get crazy and start buying some for my own home. All I have on my walls, I tell everybody, is like old junk, like window frames and stuff. <laughs> Do I have any watercolor looking floral rub-on transfers? Um, Paige, I don't, not watercolors necessarily. I don't think so. I can look through um, what I have available to buy, though, for sure, and get back with you. Anne says they do the same thing at their bins. It's frustrating. They had little pop-up camping chairs and everything. <laughs> we didn't even wait for the uh, new bins to roll out. I found this set of chunky birds. Where did these come from? Oh, they don't remember. One of the thrift stores. I paid $3 each for them. So I paid up a little bit, but they're so cute and chunky. And they're white, which will go with any season. And I listed them up at $16.95 for the set of two. Jesse's been trying different bin locations. They were all so different from each other. Two were gross, one was okay. Yeah, Jesse, I'll have to try some other locations. I need to do some research. We don't have any in Topeka, I know that. Um, so I'll have to do some research of other locations. Baby chairs, baby mini chairs always sell well for me. This one's newer, um, but it had a great little yellow paint job on it. So I picked it up for a dollar and I'm selling it for $8.95, and I just love to put tiny florals on these. Or a little critter, you know, set a little animal on there with a little plant. How do y'all stage up your little chairs? Because y'all buy these like crazy. So I know you're doing something with them. I picked up this little cardinal for a dollar, and she is up at $4.95. Cardinals sell well for me. I know they are a symbol of loved ones saying hello for a lot of people. It's blurry. Um, I'm not seeing a blurry here on my end. Maybe hop out, hop back in. Jesse would rather go to the thrift store. Yeah, after we were at the bins for about, oh, 45 minutes to an hour, we left and we went thrifting. <laughs> okay. Um, so this cutting board came from the Giving Tree. Miss Alyssa is pricing at the Giving Tree again. So the prices have gone down and... They are really good, and she knows what I like, too, so it's working out really well. Um, this one was $3, I do believe she had it marked on, on it. And then this one I had hanging in my kitchen for a while, but the red tones just aren't quite working for me uh, with everything else I have going on. So I went ahead and put these together because I thought they were just gorgeous together. Hey, Alyssa. Girl, I found number three on so much of the Giving Tree tags that I was pricing last night. And so this set of two is $29.95. This was a $5 investment. I really loved it. I really love those warm red colors, but I, they just don't go with what I've got going on. And that's okay. All right, next up here, I've got a Lazy Susan. This one was $4. And I have it up at $14.95. Now this one has the detailing and the little edge. So this one wouldn't be great for crafting necessarily, but 
it is great for your kitchen. You put your salt and pepper, your little napkin holders on there in the middle of your table. Traditionally, I do believe this would also be great in your office area, a little cup of paint brushes, little notepad and pens or something, right? So a lot of functions for Lazy Susans. And I liked how this one was pretty tall. It's got quite the tall base on it and it's really well made. Nice wood. Always pick those up when I find them. What's next? Ooh, let's look at some doilies. Doilies have been selling like crazy and they're so pretty. I love separating them and sorting them out and listing them and thinking about all of the hard work that got put into them. Okay, so I've got some different ones listed up. This is doily number four, $6.95. Such pretty designs. I paid around a dollar for these at God, God Storehouse. When did I go there? I don't know. I did a lot of shopping. <laughs> this is doily number three. This one's $4.95. I really like the delicate um, thread on this one. It's a little thinner than most of them. I've got two of these, same shape. They are $6.95 each. And this is doily one, that pretty oval <laughs> with the two circles. I like that. I like it, I like it. And then I put a couple of trios together. These were little ones that I think were like a quarter a piece. And I thought it was fun. Has anybody ever done any DIY projects with these doilies or do you just decorate with them? I've seen them like framed and stuff, different um, wall decor ideas. I've never done anything like that with them before. Everybody else is saying their bins are kind of meh too. Well, that stinks. I watch my friend Julie go to the bins all the time and hers are beautiful. Found this tiny little baby butter stamp, 99 cents. Great price. And it has like a botanical print on the bottom, which is nice. Sometimes they're like animals or holiday. So that one would work great year round. It's a one inch stamp. I paid a dollar for it. It's up at 9.95. Yeah, definitely wore gloves to the bins. I definitely did. And a lot of people there were not. Okay, this does not really go <laughs> with the rest of everything, but I thought this beautiful, bright, retro-y orange would be great for summertime. This was also a bins find. Um, so it was around a dollar or so, and it's up at $12.95. These are like baby bunt cakes too. I love big, big bunt pans and I love small bunt pans. I do not discriminate. Okay, good, I'm glad, Paige. Brass Salvage, finding this now at the thrift store. I was like, Alyssa, look what I found. She's like, I know, I priced it. Of course. <laughs> she totally knows what I love. I don't know if most thrift stores would even put something like this out on the floor, but you guys know that if we just take a little bit of floral, this is an ex exactly a good example, and put it up in the top of this, it now is a floral arrangement, or just a piece of beautiful salvage to add into your vignettes. And this one has got the patina. Great patina on it. It was $3 and I listed it up at $14.95. This one is really heavy. Oh, awesome. Teresa's mom is making her doilies right now. I think it's becoming kind of a lost art. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, I wish I would have learned more of that stuff from my grandmother before she passed. She was a seamstress most of her life. Um, this brass salvage was $3, beautiful ring, great detailing on it. And it's got that rim inside. So if you wanted to put a piece of cut wood inside and turn this into a stand, great DIY project, or just put it like on top of a floral ring with a candle inside, you could do so many things with these salvage pieces. This one is $14.95. You can hear a mower in the background page. Yes. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about that. <laughs> Um, all my windows are closed. Sorry. It is the season. And Saturday morning, I feel like we're probably going to get a lot of that. Uh, can you hear me okay? 
Little brass trinket tray. I think it's my neighbor. He won't take long. His yard is small. Oh, there it stopped. <laughs> Little brass trinket tray or a container. I really like the shape on this one and it has the hinged lid. So that's great. You can hide all those little things on your countertop you don't want to see. I paid $2 for it and it's $10.95. <laughs> okay, I wanted to make sure you could hear me over the mower. I was wondering about that because I know when I edit and stuff, I can hear the neighborhood dogs too. I am kind of crooked. I'm a mess this morning, y'all. I'm always a mess. And it's usually those mornings I think I have everything together. Hey, Teresa, how are you? Okay, so one of the stores, I think it was Thrift World. Yes, Thrift World. We had never been there before, or I hadn't. Sammy took me, and we found some okay things. <laughs> we found some okay things, but this one was my find of the day there, find of the store. It is an authentic apothecary jar. It is painted and marked. This is actually an apothecary jar from a doctor's office back in the day. I paid $4 for it, great price, and it is up at $24.95. I found one of these before and it sold very quickly, so I imagine this one probably will as well. Been finding some really cute little Crocs. This one is $1.99 from The Giving Tree and I have it listed up at $9.99 or $9.95. These are great for plants in the summer. And even, um, obviously not planting in them because they don't have drainage, but just putting a small little pot in them. Some people aren't into the terracotta look too much. So setting a little terracotta pot inside of a crock is a great trick. So many little breakables this week. Okay, let's get through some of this um, aluminum. Aluminum juicer, I paid $2, it's up at $8.95. I found a ton of aluminum and I thought this would be great for summer. It just, I don't know why it makes me think of summer. 50 cents on the little scoop. I had it up at $3.95. Mini aluminum pot. I paid a dollar. This came from the bin, so around a dollar. Oh, Teresa's going to try to drop links. <laughs> Thanks, girly. I'm rolling fast on these, so do, do your best. No worries. <laughs> I love the little baby one. I think this one was actually from like a kid's play set or something. I could be wrong. These rusty, crusty little tins. Two of them are really rusty and one of them is just kind of rusty. These are great for DIYs. In fact, I've got a video coming out, I swear this weekend, the wood projects I did. And I used these in one of the projects, some little tins. I paid 50 cents for these. They're up at $4.95 because they're so rusty and crusty and good. You can't, you can't fake that. Measuring spoons, always a good seller for me. I paid a dollar for these or so, I think, at the Giving Tree, and they are $6.95. Haha, <laughs> Paige, I haven't found any metal toolboxes yet, but I am looking. Pink tags at Goodwill were 50% off. So I paid $3 for these little um, salt and peppers. And these are, they weren't, were they Foley? No. Goodness gracious, I can't remember the brand. $12.95 though, they're so cute. I love the um, font on the S&P. They're marked USA on the back. Wilton, they're Wilton. And I find Wilton pans all the time, but I don't think I've ever found Wilton salt and peppers. Bolin Fort Worth cast iron, little cornbread pan. I love these, usually they're black, but I found the silver one. $2 I paid for this, it's up at $16.95. I noticed Sammy found some toolboxes and some other rusty, crusty kitchen stuff. Her haul was very good in my opinion. Mixed metal pot. Brass handle, a copper bottom, and I love how cute this is. It's just a little mini one. 
Um, it was $3 at the Thrift World and I have it up at $9.95. Ooh, these were popular as well. Some little pottery spice jars. I've got cinnamon, nutmeg, paprika, oregano, and sage. So cute for cottagey, um, like a cottagey style kitchen. Reminds me a lot of like apothecary too and kind of like a witchy natural kitchen setup. I really like those. Maybe one of these days, I found a lot of spice set jars. Maybe one of these days I'll actually upgrade mine. Look at this adorable little soap dish. Never seen one like this before. I paid a buck for it. It's up at $12.95. It's got some great patina on it as well. Great rust patina. And it has this little holder right here. It like hangs on the side of your whatever wash pan. Ton of small little items this week, but that's fun. I know not everybody can always afford to like buy big, huge things. Um, so this week, and ha, we shipped some huge packages last week. So figured I'd give Melissa and myself a little break this week. <laughs> These little candle holders always sell well. There's a place for a candle here, and then I imagine this rectangle space is for matches. And you've got the holder, you know, so you can carry it around. It's like the antique nightlight. And this one is marked Germany on the bottom, which is different. I don't find a lot of things from Germany. Oh, it's also got a hole right here, it looks like, so you could even hang it on the wall when you're not using it, maybe. I paid $4 for it, and it's up at $14.95. Durable aluminum cup. Again, all the aluminum this week. I paid a dollar for this, and it's up at $4.95. These would look so cute in a little vignette. I'll pair a few of these aluminum items together. Dried floral. <laughs> Single-handed sifters have been very popular. Um, this one is rusty, decor use only, but it's also that Foley brand. I think these bring back a lot of memories. I paid a buck and it's $8.95. Adorable little beeswax candles, totally fit the aesthetic this week. New old stock, they made it to the thrift store. I paid a buck for them, um, but they have never been used. Still have the tag on them. That's what we call new old stock. I do believe Alyssa found these little guys. They were 50 cents each and I paid $8.95. Who found these for me? Somebody found these for me. <laughs> great primitive items yeah a little primitive feels to this for sure another little baby crock this one has a lid it's hard to find them with the lids when they're this small those little lids get lost over time this one has some really good crazing through it i don't know if you guys can see that um, but good crazing all throughout the jar i paid two dollars for it and it's also 9.95 I've been listing a lot of larger crocs lately, so I figured I'd get some smaller, less expensive ones in. These are great for spoons. They've got the adorable little like handles here, and they're the perfect height for wooden spoons. And this is a long spoon set too. Most spoons are eh, around this height and a little bit shorter, so, and this one even looks good. I paid $2 for it. It is $10.95 on my site. And this is long spoon set B, I believe, $8.95 for the set of four. That spatula is my favorite. Ooh, very old frame. This came from the garage sale around the corner, I think. I think it got lost or something in, in the junk last week. Old frame. It is a little decrepit. It is falling apart. It's got no art in it, no back. But those little details that were nailed on, I just couldn't, I couldn't let it go. And even just hanging this like on the wall and putting something cute on the inside, you don't need glass 
or a backer or art. <laughs> All you need is the frame. It's so cute. Anyways, you can tell I like this one. Maybe I should have kept it. I paid a dollar for it. It's up at $10.95. few more things here. How long have we been on? 25 minutes. And then I wanted to paint something today. I want to get my hands a little dirty. I've been selling these like crazy little embroidery hoops. Ooh, I don't have a sticker on these. I think I put this little set of two up at $4.95. I was selling massive ones I got from an estate clean out, but only found little ones this week. Those came from the bins as well. So I paid next to nothing for them. Beautiful basket. I have another handmade basket like this up on my site. It's a little bit bigger. The set of two would look beautiful together, FYI. I paid $2.50 on this one and it is up at $14.95. I love these baskets. I, I mean, I love all baskets, but. <laughs> okay, Salvation Army in Kansas City. It's not my favorite location, but. Purple tags or blue tags were half off. I had seen this Teleflora ring there before a couple of times and it was $8. I was like, no way. It was half off this time. And I still was like, Bleh. and then I walked around the corner and I found the rectangle one and it was $3. So I was like, okay, well there's two. And I also thought these would be really fun. Just hung on the wall. They've got a little bit of like a lip that if you hung a nail up and hung them on the wall, like how cute would that be for a little shelf? They're deep enough, you know, like three inches or so, you could totally set something cute on there. It could hang either way. Like why not turn those into wall art? If they don't sell right away, maybe I'll put that on an upcoming DIY video. Um, but they're so cute. $14.95 on this one, and this one is also $14.95. How are y'all feeling about the copper? I feel like the copper and the brass is slowing down a little bit for me on sales. Talk to me, what kind of metal are you into right now? I found this really cute oil lamp. It's like a mixed metal. It's got black metal up here and then down here is like a beautiful rusty silver metal. That combination of those two colors together I thought was so pretty. And yes, they're glass, but when I ship them, I just take them apart like this. And they ship pretty well. Uh, the wick on this one still works beautifully too. It's got a lot of wick left in it. So you add some oil to this bad boy and you've got yourself a working lamp. For $14.95, I paid $3. Oh, Paige, um, these, these casserole, like, I think they're casserole rings. Like you put your casserole in them or whatever to carry them. But I thought they would make fun wall art, like little shelves. That's why I don't have any art on my walls, because I make everything into wall art. <laughs> oh, these little bird ornaments, so stinking cute. They're doves. Oh, yay! And Anne grabbed some brass pieces today. She loves the brass still. Good. Love the doves and they come open. I swear they do. There. <laughs> Aren't those pretty? They're probably ornaments, but you could totally just use them in the spring too. $3.95 each. Just a cute little, uh, cute little bird. Hey, Leslie. A trio of spools here, $6.95, I paid around a dollar for them. Love decorating with these, especially in the neutral tones. These were more Goodwill bin saves, not broken. Old brass frames. Um, these two I put together as a set, and I'm going to decoupage them. They're read description. So it'd be $9.95 on the set. I paid hardly anything for them at the bins. Okay, sterling and silver plate. All right, ladybug, I'll start looking for a little bit. I don't pick up a lot of sterling or silver plate. But I can start. I'd love to start and see how that sells. It'd be a new fun find. This was also at the bins. It survived. 
and it's a mirrored tray. It has little feet on it, um, but this tray like also slides out. It looks like I don't know why. Like it, like you could take it out and put art in it as well, but there's nothing to hang it. So I called it a tray, and it does have like that marbled mirror on it. Very very pretty. This on a vanity with like your pretty little perfume bottles, some makeup brushes. So girly. I love anything tarnished or rusty, but brass is my favorite. All right, good deal. That's all I need to know. I'll keep looking for it. This was a Goodwill bin save. Little faux rusty watering can. I paid a buckish for it, and it is up at $12.95, and it functions. It holds water and pours. Okay, I Google lensed these and I couldn't quite figure it out. They kept sending me different things that weren't it. Were these like pencil holders, paintbrush holders? What did y'all do with these back in the day? I found a bunch recently when I did that estate clean out, all the wood projects, um, and I turned them into florals, of course. But I listed this one up as a pencil holder, I think. $2 and I have it up at $12.95. That would look really nice on a desk with pencils instead of just throwing them in a little plastic bin. Quick question. I bought a four gallon crock brown and tan for $30. Okay, Anne, you want to know if that was a good price? These skewers came from the Salvation Army. Aren't they cute? A sheep and a pig. Yes, Anne, that is a good price. Generally, I try to stay under $10 a gallon. Um, of course, condition, it depends on condition. And that is that is like my personal Crocs. If I'm reselling, I need to get them cheaper than that. Um, but if I'm buying them for myself or selling them to y'all, I try to keep them around $10 a gallon. Um, a pig and a sheep, and I thought I could find probably two more. I bet there was like a cow and a rooster or chicken. But I only found two, but these are super cute. So maybe you're only grilling for one or two people and you only need two skewers. $8.95. I paid two bucks. This is another little neutral trio. I think I called it a neutral vase trio. Neutral floral trio, something like that. $11.95 for these three little things. The colors combination of the amber bottle, the white, pitcher um, or ceramic item and then the brass. Love that color combo. You are welcome, Anne. Was that your first crock purchase? Alyssa made her first crock purchase this weekend. She got a beautiful three gallon crock. Colorado honey, five pounds. Look for this label for the best grade honey. No disappointment in these recipes. Honey cinnamon rolls and pineapple sorbet. Isn't that cute? Gorgeous advertising left on this tin. Gorgeous colors. I paid $2. This is up at $10.95. Oh, look at these cuties. These were marked down to like 10 cents at the tree. Um, they were in a bag. And I said, can we open these up and figure out what they are? They are little doily cups. Oh my gosh. I imagine you put like a glass jar in these and use them for a little vase. So that would be so, I should have kept these. That would be so cute. Um, also, you, I guess you could starch them up maybe. I don't know how to do that, but I'm sure it's not that hard. And they would stand on their own. There's four of them. I listed them up as a set at $8.95. Tracy wants to find a big crock in the wild. You will, girl. Garage sale season is here. Check out those sales on the outskirts of town. You'll find some. I'm, I'm sending up the good vibes for you. Cute little um, spoon spoon. Spoon rest. 50 cents I paid. It's up at $6.95. I love having these in my kitchen. That way when I'm cooking, I do not get my stove dirty over and over and over. I dirty like so many spoons when I cook, but I clean as I go. <laughs> I found a little copper oil lamp salvage piece. I love these. I stuck Christmas trees in them um, during Christmas time. I put uh, flowers in them in the spring or just setting them out in a vignette by itself. 
this one doesn't turn anymore um, you know so like I would just use this for decor I paid three dollars for it and it is up at $10.95 and found hers on Facebook Marketplace. That's another great place for Crocs. I've got a lot of mine at Garage Sales and Marketplace as well. Adorable mini basket. I paid a uh, dollar for it. I can't read my own writing and it's up at $4.95. I love these little wall baskets you can hang. And this one's so tiny. Ooh, this one would make a great O on like a home or welcome sign. It's a good size for that too. How cute would that be? And you put a little bird nest in it or something. Another frame. This is a, just a cute little hammered copper faux, not real frame. And I thought it would look beautiful with a decoupage inside of it. Um, so I grabbed it up with the brass frames here. This one was around 50 cents and it's up at $8.95. Oh, Teresa said you can starch them with sugar water and put them in a jar, put a jar in it to dry and shape. Sugar water, huh? I'm going to have to look that up on Pinterest. Little baby mini fan. I've got a larger set of these up as well if you need a set of three. 50 cents on this. It's up at $3.95. And I think these work great for boho or farmhouse. Can y'all, Paige, can you hear my stomach growling? <laughs> I'm hungry. We're going to go get something to eat after this and go to the park. It's beautiful. Um, so this has already sold. Anne said she picked this up. An adorable little love trinket dish. Now, Alyssa priced this. She thought it said love. I thought it said Lori. <laughs> Y'all let me know. Love or Lori? I think it's supposed to be love. If your name was Lori, it could totally work as Lori too. But Anne, it says love, right? So cute. I saved this guy from the bins. He still has both his eyeballs, his beak, and his feathers. I'm surprised he wasn't broken. 50 cents-ish probably is what I paid. He's up at $4.95. Those wood ducks sell great. Another little hanging basket. This one is sold as is. It does have some breakage on it, but y'all know me. What I would do is take a little decrepit dust and rub it in, make it look old and aged, and then I would take some hanging floral and poke out of that hole and let it like hang out the bottom. That's what I would do. The other side has hearts and some 90s lovey decor on it if that's your jam. But since this was a little damaged up, I only listed it at $6.95. This would still have a lot of life and make a super cute basket. We're all a little broken and damaged, right? Teresa is gone with the links. <laughs> she might have been busy or she might have just gave up. I'm flying through these little things today. I'm going to go ahead and drop the collection one more time here in the live chat in case you're just hopping on. Copper Jello molds. I did, Ladybug. I had some up on my website. I think they've sold. Oh, those weren't Jello molds. I lied. I, they were copper molds. I think they were candle making molds. I will start looking for copper Jello molds. Paige heard it. <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh my goodness. That's so funny. When I edit, might do my edited videos, I clip my mic like right here on my shirt. Um, that way my voiceovers are the same uh, volume throughout the whole thing. And it's not like, you know, changing, whatever. Anyways, half the time when I'm editing, my stomach will growl in the middle of my voiceover and I have to start over. <laughs> I found these in the bins. I don't always pick up like little dollar um, floral containers, but there was a set of two and they were next to nothing in the bins. Marked them as a set for $8.95. Those would be cute if you just want to do your own little DIY project. Oh, and these were also in the bins. All three stayed together, clear to the bins. Great wall baskets. I've sold many of these. Beautiful set of three, $13.95. I paid probably around a dollar because they don't weigh much. <laughs> oh, man. What are we going to eat today? What am I hungry for? I want tacos. It's so early. That's almost 11. It's not too early. All right, last couple of things here. Also a bin's fine. Still in really great shape. Never been used before. I would call this a planter basket since it's lined. 
not torn up, not squished, and it's up at $16.95. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors on this one. And then who remembers a skirt marker? I have a question. Was this to measure to see if your skirt was long enough or was it like for hemming, hemming skirt lines? <laughs> Uber Eats, I gotta get this kid out of the house to run and play or no Uber, no Uber Eats today. Um, so I thought this was really cute and I don't know, I didn't put a sticker on it. So I can't remember how much it is. <laughs> uh, some days, I swear. I swear I'm a professional. Okay, I found these yesterday. It's for hemming, okay. I found these yesterday at um, God's Storehouse. We ran by there after um, the, the garage sales. And I paid up a little bit for them. Let me know, what do you think? Did I overpay? They were $8 each, but they're metal and they are heavy. Um, and they're beautiful. The color on them, it's like it's like a maroon. It reminds me of cherry picked, DIY cherry picked. And I think like mixing this with those wooden cutting boards would just be gorgeous. I think somebody spray painted them at one point. It's all chipping off to black paint. I just thought they were stunning. These flower urns really sell really well for me. I didn't really want to pay $8 each, but since everything else was such a good buy this weekend, I did. And again, I just thought they totally fit in with the vibe of this haul. So I have them listed up at $39.95 each. Excuse me, the hiccups now too, I think. Look at the patina. Um, but 4th of July, like muted colors. I'm not into bright, bright red, but using like that maroon, I thought would be really pretty. All right, let's paint. Let's paint, let's paint. Grabbed these corbels also at God's Storehouse. They were $2.50 for the pair. And these are actually like the curtain rod holders or whatever, but I love to use them as bookends. And then I just stick some floral through the hole. So you've got books in the middle, floral coming through pretty. It really makes a pretty vignette. And you can like stick the floral through each side and it can kind of come out this way. It makes a beautiful centerpiece on a table. Um, I used these a lot when I had my booth to stage up. So I've got some neutral colors here. Help me decide. I wanted to stick with the neutral theme. I've got tarnished pearl, some prairie gray, some layered chocolate, crinoline and sandy blonde and faded burlap. That's lots of choices. I haven't, Paige. Yay, Ashley figured out how to comment. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. Prairie Gray is a gorgeous, oh. Hold, please. <laughs> that lid did not get on well. I swear I'm gonna start taking better care of my paint, you guys this gorgeous brownie gray color. Faded burlap. Where'd it go? Is this one? No. Big one? Where's faded burlap? Oh, I don't have it out. Doo, doo, doo. Faded burlap is more gray. Oh, it's almost gone, Becky. Tarnished pearl. Everybody's saying something different. Everybody wants to see something. I never use tarnished pearl. Oh, Paige doesn't like it. It's more gray. Yes, we're painting them. I, I know, I haven't been painting a lot of my lives. Let's do, because this is red, Kind of reddish. Let's do prairie gray with it. I better not open that one though in case it's sold. Okay, give me like two shakes of a lamb's tail here.
So, oh, yuck. Uh, long hair problems. So, uh, my, my prairie gray has kind of dried out here a little bit. I left the lid off, but it's okay. I just need to mix a little bit of water with it. Two shakes of a lamb's tail. You never heard that. <laughs> I said, it's basically like, hold on one second. Like real quick, two shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> You've never heard that phrase? <laughs> Is it a phrase? Maybe I, maybe I just made it up. I don't know. Oh, that's funny. All right, so we'll start with some prairie gray. Maybe we'll throw a little something else on there. Just, we'll just get crazy. We'll see what happens. But I love painting things with all of this detail with DIY paint. So then you can just wet distress it and bring back the detail. This is kind of like a ready color on this faux wood, but I think it'll complement well with that prairie gray. Just using a little Windex to wipe off the dust and dirt. DIY paint doesn't require a lot of prep work or sanding or priming, but I at least like to wipe the dust off. Nobody's heard two shakes of a lamb's tail? That's weird. Where are my Kansas girls at? Have y'all ever heard that? All right, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of regular water in here. Um, if you're pouring water into the container, make sure you use like a bottled or distilled water and not tap water. Um, that way you don't contaminate it. And get it all stinky. There we go. Now we have paint again. Not that long ago, I went through all my dried out paints and like fixed them and stuff, but uh, I'm not painting fast enough. I used to open up the big quartz when I was painting a lot of furniture and now I think I need to just be opening up pints. I'm using the new DIY Perfectionist brush and I am in love with it. It's got that real pointy tip on it and it gets down in all those details so well. Yeah, um, Paige, I would recommend next time just to use bottled water. It, it, you, you'd be all right. It's not going to be the end of the world, but it's just good practice. Obviously, I don't always practice what I preach. Um, you know, paint is super expensive and taking good care of it is important. I have gotten a little selfish and lazy after becoming a retailer and, you know, getting a price break on the paint. Um, I'm not going to lie. I need to... I need to do better. I don't let it go to waste though. I always figure out a way to use it. I reconstitute it with water um, or I use the thicker paint for texture on projects and stuff. I figure it out. Of course, if you're wanting a really nice, beautiful, smooth, perfect finish, um, reconstituting it and mixing it up and stuff is not the best because you're still gonna get little chunks and stuff in it. Pages, it stinks. You think the DIY paint stinks? Like even a new can? I love the smell of it. I think it smells like earth, like clay. Um, it can get stinky if you contaminate it. It can get a little stinky, but when it dries, you can't smell anything. <laughs> it's funny. Hey, Jackie, how are you? We're just doing a little paint and you are late. That's okay. You can always go back and catch the haul on the replay. Yeah, I love this prairie gray color. I think it's a good like year, obviously it's a neutral. You could use it year round, but like the gray plays well in the winter with silvers. Um, and then like the brown tones in it play really well with browns, uh, like in baskets and wood and stuff. So I'm a big fan. Oops, there's a little sticker on the back I just painted over. I promise I'll fix that. <laughs> I 
I paint the back of these, even though some people might still end up hanging them on the wall um, in case people want to use them for bookends. Missed a sticker. All right, I'm going to dry this up a little bit here with my heat gun. Oh, I got you, Paige. Okay. Sorry, I was confused. She said DIY paint doesn't stink. Yeah, her Dixie Belle paint has gone bad before uh, and that she hasn't had that issue with DIY. Good. <laughs> I, you know what? I've never used Dixie Belle paint, you guys. Never tried it. I've watched other creators use it. I've never tried it myself. Once I find something um, that I love, I really stick with it. Ashley appreciates that I paint the whole piece of this. I usually do. Now, if I know it's wall art or like a shelf or something that is 100% going to hang on the wall, I usually don't paint the back because sometimes the paint can transfer over onto your wall paint, even after it's sealed and stuff. You know, it's just if you, if you rub it or bump it up against the wall, it can happen. But if there's the possibility the back's going to show, then I'm going to paint it. Paige, you're cracking me up. See, I think, um, I think beadboard is a really true white. You don't? What do you consider beadboard then, Paige? Do you think it's gray? Here, <laughs> this would be easier. Or does it feel blue, like too cool to you or what? Maybe it's a little blue, huh? Huh, okay. I don't use a lot of white. I mean, when I painted, back when I painted furniture in the booth, I did use a lot of white, but I used white swan uh, mostly, which is more of an off-white. <coughs> so I guess I don't know my whites very well. It is bright. I've got my ring light up high, too. <laughs> Going shopping. Woohoo, Becky. Have fun. Find some good junk. So besides the chat, uh, the chat, the, I was looking at the word chat. Besides the haul I showed y'all today, I listed up 50 items besides what I showed you. So between last night and this morning, 120 things went up on my site. Make sure you scroll back several pages uh, when you're looking through the haul, whether you're watching now or catching the replay. And I'll be listing even more this weekend, I'm sure. I got so much yesterday. If I don't list some things, I'm going to get behind. <laughs> hey, Susie from Omaha. Gotcha, Paige. I'll have to... I'll have to do some experimenting. And if you are watching the replay and you're not sure who I'm talking to, you can click that little live chat button under the under the video and you should be able to see us chatting. Cottage color white linen is a true white. In Ashley's opinion, I need to use the cottage colors more. I'm really excited. Jamie's showed a new one yesterday on her video, or a couple days ago they put out. It's gorgeous. It's like, um, it's called Americana, and they named it after their chickens and the color of eggs they lay. So it's going to be like a chicken egg color. <laughs> You don't talk too much, girl. I'm glad you're here. This is why I go live with y'all. So I have somebody to talk to. I was panicking before I went live because I accidentally disabled the live chat option. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm not going to be able to talk to anybody. This is going to be pointless. Thankfully, it let me change it. Okay, this is almost dry. And I'm only doing one coat. You'll see the coverage on this is amazing. Might be a couple little spots where um, that original color is peeking through, but we're going to distress anyway. 
Okay, Paige, keep this in mind though. I know the cottage color is more expensive, but you don't have to use a top coat on it. So you're saving money there on either a wax or a top coat. Keep that in mind and it's fast. Saves you time. And when you, I have a video on it. Um, if you, I don't know, I have no clue what it's titled. But if you use your heat gun on the cottage color, it will bubble it because it has that built-in top coat. It'll cause little bubbles, little tiny, tiny bubbles. Then you let it dry and take some 220 grit sandpaper and distress it and it distresses off those bubbles and it looks like milk paint without the work. It's gorgeous. I'll have to use it soon on, a, on an edited video. Um, Susie, cottage color is another DIY paint color. Um, paint that's inside the DIY paint line. And it's all in one paint. It has a built-in sealer. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> this one is covered in paint, but this is what the containers look like. Right now there's four colors and they're about to release a few more. Deal, Paige. You got it. <laughs> you got it. Okay, one little spot there I missed. So you see the coverage, very, very good for just one coat, yeah? All right, we're gonna do a little wet distressing. I will be painting the top of that too, don't you worry. So the DIY paint is water soluble until it's sealed, just meaning um, you, can, you can wipe it off with water. So that way, since this isn't real wood, I wouldn't wanna use a sander on it um, and risk like, hurting the, the plasticky resin material. So now I can just distress inside. It's a lot less mess. Yeah, I think the like bluish tones in this prairie gray play well with that reddish, reddish wood tone. I think like white would have been, it would have been too much contrast. The crinoline would have been like a little too yellow. You can just rub that paint off of there and give it a beautiful distressed look. Yes, this prairie gray is gorgeous, gorgeous neutral. And it really, if you put it next to brown, it looks more brown. If you put it next to gray, it looks more gray. So you can use it with lots of different wood tones. Um, I use this one a lot on the top of furniture when I'm doing a two-tone look, but I don't like have a wood top. And I'm using a Viva paper towel. I usually use a cloth, but I've ran off screen so many times I didn't want to do it again. These Viva paper towels um, are thick and they hold up pretty well, but don't use a cheap paper towel or it will like disintegrate and make a mess. How pretty. All right, Paige, sounds good. You go get you some grub, girl. What's everybody up to this weekend? Anybody doing any shopping, thrifting, garage sailing, estate sales? We planting flowers. This I'm naming off all the stuff I'm doing this weekend. Planting flowers and um, taking care of the yard, laundry, grocery store. I've got a lot on my list. Heading to the Caribbean. <laughs> Take me. That sounds way more fun than my list. That's funny, love that gray color. Yes, it's good. I'm loving it with this um, red tone wood. All right, now I'm gonna dry it back up just a little bit to even out that paint. Excuse me, my allergies are nuts today. If y'all see me rubbing all over my face. Being outside yesterday, digging through junk, it rained, and then the sun came out. Whoa. We're all jealous, Susie. How big's your suitcase?
I don't use the additive for right now. What are you looking for? A charger? Charger or what? No, chocolate. Your chocolate is next to the bread on top of the microwave. I'm almost done, and when I'm done, I thought we could go to the park and get some breakfast. Hey. Okay, leave me alone. You're okay. Leave me alone for like 15 more minutes. Okay. I think they're excited. It's big. Okay, I want to go. <laughs> Ashley's doing yard work too. Okay, so that's dried up there. Cute. I love that. This, oh, this looks primitive too. This reminds me of primitive. Maybe we'll have a primitive summer. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wax it. I know this isn't painted. I'll do it later off camera. Don't you worry. These kids are gonna get restless before too long. Um, I need my clear wax. There it is. I've just got an old, old beat up brush here that I like to wax with. And I always take it out of the container and I put it on the lid. That way I don't get gray in my, in my wax container. Oh, now there's a fly in here. That's fun. <laughs> so when I wax this, you will see that the paint darkens back up again. Now over the next 24 hours or so, it will lighten back up and uh, it'll be more of that dry paint color. Um, so Susie, I have one kiddo, her name's Elena, and she's 11, and she does like to do crafts and DIYs with me. She's kind of in a stage right now where I'm not super cool, you know, preteen stuff. Um, so she hasn't been crafting a lot with me lately, but she does enjoy it. And then she's got a friend over right now who also actually does love to paint with me. We'll probably actually do some of that later. Keep them busy. I listed up some primitive things the other day when I went garage sailing. I've been doing random drops. I Now that I have more time with shipping help, I've been shopping more and putting up more content, but been doing random vintage drops throughout the week. And I put up some primitives the other day that would look really good with these. All right. Hey, Dee Dee, you're gonna be doing yard work. Dee Dee, I listed up that um, big green crate barrel with the lid this morning. I saw that you were you were digging it. Isn't she beautiful? Just an FYI, in case you have a place for it in your yard. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know, though. I got it up fast. I just bought it yesterday. Well, maybe before we hop off, I'll show you guys those two big things. I'm almost done here. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do to these. I don't think I'm going to add any extra dark wax or anything. I love the, just the color combination of the two things. But like how easy is it to buy something old and outdated from the thrift store? You get your coat of paint on it. You get your craft on. And switch it up that fast. Much more modern. Love, 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 love. All right. Let me show you all that my two favorite finds. We got to venture out onto the front porch. My two favorite finds from the garage sale yesterday, and then I'll let y'all go. I know I've been on over an hour. All right, I'm gonna try not to get you in my face here. Hold on. Boop, okay. So the first one is this. I find these bushel baskets all the time, but this one was painted green. Oh my gosh. And it's like the perfect vintage green. Got a couple little breaks in it, but they had the lids. The rest of them were just brown, so I didn't buy any more because he wanted $5 each, which is fine. I went ahead and paid the $5 with the lid. Isn't that gorgeous? And it is huge. It's up at $49.95 because it's going to be big to ship, but so pretty. Couldn't pass that up. And then hands down, my favorite find is the stool. 
This old vintage stool, isn't she gorgeous? Now wait for it. It's a ladder into a stool. Ah. <laughs> but that green paint, oh my gosh. No way I could leave it behind. I only paid $3 for that. And it's up at $149.95. It'll be tricky to ship, but I can do it. I can do it. Okay, let's go back inside here. All right, I'll flip you back around. There I am. Okay, friends. Any other questions before I get off of here? It doesn't look like it. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Again, if you want to find any of the paint I just used or any of my flips and finds, upcycledbybree.com. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>